That's awesome. I'm, I'm so I'm so so excited to be part with uh, Brendan over there. I know he's really excited to be a part of the organization, and uh, just want to get down there and get going. Mike, it was a long wait. You know, um, as you name, you know, wait. What was going through your mind as those names were getting called up, and yours wasn't one of them? I was just maintaining a, a calm and positive attitude. I knew that my name was going to get called eventually, and uh, to be an organization like Colorado to call my name, I'm I'm really excited. Is there anything that goes through your mind as a pitcher when you hear that it's Colorado? <laughs> um, no, I'll worry about that. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Um, I'm just excited to to get together with some pro pitching coaches and and better my game as much as I can. What did it mean to have you, you know, you obviously a very close family and all that. Your brother couldn't be here because he's out playing in bench. So, but, you know, you guys have stuck together through a lot of things. What is it, uh, you know, how, how many were here tonight for you and what did it mean when, to you when they were, for them to be here to share it with you? Uh, absolutely. There's about 20 people here tonight. Um, I've had a huge support system through it all and uh, probably the best support system that you could ask for um, between my uncle and my mom. Um, they've really held it down for me over the, the past couple of years and, and my family here, and I know all my friends back home are really excited for me. So, um, just a big thanks to everybody, uh, especially Jeff Randazzo with uh, with Balanji Group. Uh, he's a, like a, another family member to us, so I want to say thanks to him too. How much were you? How much were the Rockies interested? How, you know, obviously you had a lot of scouts coming through Stroudsburg. How much were the Rockies really, you know, in the picture for more or less, or did they kind of stay in the background? The the Rockies were the first team that sent their general manager, um, so. I had an idea that maybe they would be interested in me. Um, I knew that it wasn't going to be at three, but if I got to 27 like I did, I, I knew that there was a possibility. So that's that's what ended up happening. When was the decision made to come here, and what you know, what are your thoughts about having gone through the whole day? Um, I'm definitely going to have to say thanks to Harold Reynolds because he's the one who called me up about three days before the draft and asked me to come. Um, I'm definitely excited that I did and. And, and I would have definitely regretted if I didn't come. So um, I'm excited and I couldn't be happier. Do you have any any indication? Are you going to be a quick sign kind of guy? Are you you ready to get started there? You, I mean, no, you got the Alabama thing in your back pocket. Um, uh, yeah, that'll be discussed. Um, I'm not sure exactly as of now. I'm just trying to soak in the moment, enjoy myself, and uh, I'll worry about that either the next day or, or the next day after that. Not too, yeah. Not too many guys come out of Stroudsburg or the Lehigh Valley and, and get me in this position. I think you and a guy from Central Catholic uh, 20 some years ago, what does it say that, that you were able to kind of kind of break that mold a little bit? I think it's great. I think it's great for our community. Um, I think it's something that our community really needed and I think that we could build off of it. Um, I think I'm a role model for, for kids in the community and I, and I would do anything for them. Uh, we have a great a great school system and we have a, a great district so um, I think that it, was, it worked out perfect. You didn't have a lot of innings. You, you, your coach was quoted in the paper this morning you know, about protecting you, you know, basically making sure you were healthy. Is that tough to deal with sometimes when you, you're out there, maybe three, four innings and you're coming out? It is tough to deal with because I'm a competitor and every time I step on the mound I want to I want to go as long as I can but I know that uh, you can't rush into too many things especially on in your senior year when there could be so much on the line. Um, so I think that as a team, we handled that uh, very well, and, and it worked out perfect for us. Was that something that Phil came up with, or did you kind of, you and your, uh, like your said, uncle and, and him all kind of kind of came up with that? Play? Like I said, it was like a team effort. Um, Jeff's advised us a long way ever since uh, the end of my sophomore year, and uh, I think he had a big role to play with it. So um, I think, like I said, I think it was just a group effort. What did uh, Jeff say to you on the phone? Jeff said, uh, he said, congratulations. Uh, six minutes from now, you'll be a pro athlete. So <laughs> that was definitely a big weight off my shoulders, but uh, I'm excited. Have you met your new teammate yet? Uh, I have met him. I played with him at Under Armour. Uh, my third out, actually, on the mound, it was a ground ball shortstop, and he threw across the diamond. So if that's any indication of what it's going to be like, uh, I think it's going to be a good next couple of years.